In this video, we will be learning about how data handling. So I am starting with an example and we will learn how to uh, handle the data which will be given to us. Sometimes we need to arrange the data in such a way that we get some information. So in the above example, you can see it is written, Ekta is asked to collect the data for shoe. Uh, data for size of shoes of students in her class 6. Her findings are recorded in the manner shown below. That means Ekta asked all the students uh, one by one and uh, their shoes uh, size of the shoes and then she recorded that particular uh, data in a table. Once uh, you can see it is written in here uh, 5 uh, four, six, seven, like this. Uh, she asked one by one and recorded the data. Now, from here, we are not getting a kind of information uh, it, because it is not arranged in a proper way. So, it is better to arrange in a pro proper way so that we can get some idea or information from this data. So, what uh, exactly we are trying to do here, we will try to find how many students are there with a particular shoe size like how many students are there with shoe size 4 how many students are there with shoe size 5 and so on so for that let us make some table so we have shoe size one is daily mark and uh, another uh, column we have number of students so in the shoe size uh, we'll be writing 4 5 6 7 8 and the last one, the highest number is, um, it is here, 8 only. So up to 8, we will be writing starting from 4. So uh, we have shoe size, that is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we will be using telemark. And after that, number of students will calculate here. So one by one, we will check and I will be writing here. So from the first number i'll be checking the first one is five so i will cut five here and then in the five under the uh, near the five box under the tele mark column i'll be giving one mark one straight line like this so that means five is one step. i have counted then we have 4, so let me cut it 4 and put 1 here. For 7, again let me cut and put 1 here. For 5 again, let me put, give 1 line. So in the tally mark, let me tell you, for 1 I will give 1 line, for 2 I will give 2 line, 3, 4, but in when I will be uh, when there will be five, I will not write five like this. Okay, not I will not give five line. Instead, I will cross it like this. So this is our five. So every time I will be writing five, one, two, three, four, and then five. I will be cutting like this. Uh, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for 10, I will be cutting like this. So, this is how we will be doing. So, 6, next uh, one is 6. So, cut 6 and uh, give one mark. And then it is uh, our 7. So, 7 again 1. We have our 6 again. So 6 and again one mark here, one mark I will be giving here. So this is how I will be cutting everyone and marking and then placing it. 6 to 2 times it is coming. So 1, 2, 6, then again 5. So 5 it will be here. Then we have 4, 4, but you can see again we have 5, so now I will not give a line uh, vertically. What I will do, I will give a 
open line cutting the four lines so this is our file so after writing um, after cutting all those numbers here and uh, marking it under the telemark things will be like this now let me count the uh, mark here and write the total number of students so here we have you can see four four we have one two three four five so number of students is five so there are five students whose uh, size of the shoe is four uh, then five for sh uh, with shoe size uh, five we have five and six seven eight so eight students are there then again we have six so with shoe size six we have five and here one two three four five so ten students are there then we have seven one two three four five six seven so seven we have seven students and eight we have two so there are two students sorry there are two students who is having shoe size eight so this is how now i have arranged the data uh, with uh, shoe size according to the shoe size right so i can clearly see that uh, maximum um, student having shoe size six and the very less students is having shoe size eight that is two students only having shoe size eight this is what we do once we get data in tabular form like this or we can collect data and then we can arrange it in tabular form with the help of telemark and then we'll find number of students like this so this is a very very small example how to do this you please keep on the uh, pause the video and keep watching the video and it is very easy there are multiple examples in your book uh, that you can do and uh, in the next video we'll be learning about pictograph where we'll not uh, be using a telemark like that and uh, instead of that we will be using pictures so thank you for watching the video till the end uh, we'll be uh, discussing more about data handling in our next video.